Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yamesh Gupta. And in this video, we are going to talk about a particular interesting and fundamental concept uh, around React. You might have seen a lot of people uh, on LinkedIn, on YouTube talk about uh, core fundamentals of React, especially hooks and different hooks. Uh, like common hooks like use state, use effect, they are you know talked about a lot and people mention the textbook definition of uh, these hooks and other hooks like use memo and so on. It often comes up in the discussion like top eight discussions or uh, uh, interactions with the community that uh, hooks like use callback, use memo, these are not uh, discussed you know uh, often and there are no real world uh, scenarios or real world examples around that. So today we are going to take a look at a particular scenario, a particular uh, code snippet and see how different or particular set of hooks are used and what are the core concepts around it and how our changes affect the desired behavior of the app and how can we fix this. So uh, I hope it would be an interesting one. Uh, I'll try to keep it short. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's suppose we have an app where there is a sidebar and some content around that. The content is empty for now, but in on the sidebar, we have two CTAs, show filters and show recommendation. When we click on show filters, then a filter component is loaded and we are making a tracking call. Basically some third party API or maybe in-house analytics where we are saying that the some event happened, filter is loaded and some data around that. Similarly, when we click on show recommendations, then the recommendations component is loaded and we make the similar tracking call and when we click on the CTS again then it just hides the component. As simple as that straightforward. Now let's go to the code for this. So if we check out the code then we have a sidebar component inside we have two states which are managing the visibility of show filters and recommendations. Inside that we have a track function basically which takes an event name and event properties and it uh, invokes uh, analytics.track which is let's say our library which provides us a track function that takes again the event name and properties and making the API call. For now we are logging it. And inside this track function we are passing some common data and the event properties that we are getting from the you know target where it, it they are uh, this function is invoked. If we talk about the JSX part, we have a side and we have two CTAs uh, like we saw on the UI, which are managing the state. And when the show filter is, is true, then we are rendering the filters component. And when the show recommendations is true, we are rendering the recommendations. To both of the components, we are passing a single prop called on mount and we are passing the track function to on mount. And if we go to our component, then uh, Inside this component, we are just rendering some JSX and uh, we are getting a method on mount. And in the use effect, when the component is loaded or mounted, then we are calling the on mount provided as a prop and we are passing the event name and some properties. Similarly, for recommendations, same. So, so far, so good. We have a very straightforward uh, component sidebar and two ch child components. Okay. Now this on mount could be right now, this is a tracking call. This could be anything. Maybe filters is man managing some search box and uh, change on the query. We uh, call a method on the parent. So basically we are updating or invoking something uh, uh, on the parent when the child component changes as simple as that. And everything is working fine. Our components are loaded and we are making the tracking call now. But there is an issue. If you see that we are getting an ESLint error here, uh, that React hook use effect has a missing dependency on mount, either include it or remove it from the dependency array. Now, a lot of people, when they see this issue, now there are multiple ways to solve it. One is that we talk about the API structure, as in the uh, structure of the components here. We rewrite it or we, you know, structure it in a better way. That's a separate conversation. Now, another two possible solutions would be that either we remove uh, this uh, dependency array at, at all or we include the on mount here or the last option would be that we disable the SLint rule for this particular file that is like an easy way out but that's not what we are going to do so a lot of people what they do is that they take this on mount and uh, they pass it as a dependency uh, to the dependency array because use effect uh, the ESLint is throwing an error here that use mount or on mount is invoked inside the use effect so it should be part of the uh, dependency array which is right here and we pass this okay and when we do that our warning is gone our error is gone 
and uh, for most of the folks uh, that's it job is done they raise a pr and that's done deal because now es lent is not throwing an error that means our code is fine and everything is working fine so let me go back here and let me refresh this page uh, multiple times because you know it is building so we have the latest code so now if i click on show filters then we are getting the filters component and the uh, third party api call a tracking call is uh, we are invoking the tracking call that is fine now if we click on show recommendations then our recommendations component is loaded our, uh, we are making the recommendations tracking call but we are also making the filters loaded call now which was not happening earlier so that means that our tracking call or our on mount calls are getting invoked multiple times so if i hide recommendation then again there is a call if i hide filters nothing happens but if i click on show filters then there is a fil filters loaded call and then there is a recommendations call so the gist is that something went wrong now our apis are getting invoked multiple times so let me go back to the code here and uh, see let's see what went wrong first of all you can pause this video here you can think about the solution on your own and if you have seen such uh, you know scenarios or you can you know predict or not predict you can identify what is the root cause here then please uh, stop the video here mention it on the comments and then verify with it with me but for rest of the folks let's talk about what's the issue here is so if we see here then we have a sidebar uh, component and inside we have this method called track so this method we are passing as a prop to filters and recommendations okay and inside that uh, inside these components what we are doing here is that inside the use effect the use effect is basically a side effect which says that if on mount if so, if my dependency array changes then call this callback that's the you know work of a use effect that calling the side effect basically here so the thing you need to understand about react or javascript in general is that a function component at the end of day is a function and when the function is invoked then all the variables all the you know variables inside it or function inside it gets recreated every time so you get a new uh, track function reference on every render so what happens here is that since this uh, function expression is you getting uh, re-rendered or re created every time so track is getting a new function reference every time and we are passing the new reference here every time so that means the on mount the on mount will be getting a new function reference on ev on or every re-render and due to that our on mount here this uh, function reference changes every on every render and due to this the you know callback to use effect is invoked every time and that is why it is getting you know we are getting the tracking call again and again now how to fix this how to take care of this obviously you can remove the you know on mount and uh, not worry about it but that can cause an issue that can cause a lot of issues so what else we can do here is so you know a lot of people talk about that what we can do is that we can memoize it we can create something called we can use react.memo and uh, uh, using that memoize function we can render it here but that doesn't work because uh, you know your prop is changing every time because track is getting a new function reference every time so your, your react memo doesn't work so here comes in the picture where you use use callback this is the point where you, you use callback so we will invoke that we will take the use callback and we will wrap it inside we will wrap our track function inside it so now the use callback will return the same function reference every time and we would be passing that the same function reference to our on mount every time so if we you know check this in action let me just refresh this multiple times so if i click on show filters again our filters are loaded and if i click on show recommendations then see our recommendations component is loaded 
and uh, we are making the tracking call again and if we click on it then our components are uh, hidden now and we are not getting the calls multiple times we are getting it only one times so here is the point where we use use callback because we are you know making sure that uh, we are getting the function reference the same function rec reference across the renders and you know this is a special particular case you have to be mindful about that that you have to use use callback hook when uh, now we are passing this track is a non primitive prop that uh, we are passing a function here we are not passing like a string or a uh, you know a number we are passing a non primitive so you have to use use callback hook only when passing a non primitive a non primitive uh, prop in this case which is a function or non primitive value to be exact to a child component and uh, yeah also child component where the uh, value where the child component depends on the value depends on that value that means that uh, the value slash prop we are getting is part of some dependency hook that child component is you know observing that value if let's say this track is part of some on click handler then you don't need to use use callback there is a specific particular case that when you are passing a non primitive prop or non primitive value to a child component and that is used inside that is the child component is observing that using as a dependency hook then only you need to wrap it inside use callback you don't need to wrap it if you're just passing it and using it in like something like a on click handler or something of that sort so this is very important you have to be mindful of that that you you have to use use callback here and why we are using and in what particular scenario we are using now one thing now the second part to it is that we have used use callback here and we are uh, passing the same reference across the render so a common understanding between people is that that this component filters and recommendations we are passing the prop here which is the same reference every time that means our prop doesn't change across the renders so these components won't re-render at all uh, because props are not changing this is a common uh, knowledge which is taught by a lot of youtubers that up that if a component's prop uh, doesn't change then that component is not re-rendered let's just verify that assumption so if i you know uh, comment uh, I, if i add this filters re rendered and recommendations rendered console logging here and if I go to here to these UI let the build complete let me just summarize before we check the demo that a common understanding is that if our components prop is not changing then that component won't be re-rendered okay this is a common knowledge or common statement which is made by a lot of people so let me come back here so if I click show filters then our filters are getting rendered and we are making the filters call now our component is mounted for the first time now if we click on show recommendations button then our recommendations component would be rendered on the screen and ideally our filters component shouldn't re-render because that's already on the screen and the props are not changing so it shouldn't be re-rendered but if we click on show recommendations then you see that our filters component is also getting re-rendered and our recommendations component is getting re-rendered as usual or as expected so our assumption that a uh, that a component whose uh, you know props are uh, not changing will not uh, re-render that is false if so the actual what happens in react is that if your parent component which is sidebar is getting re-rendered due to anything be a prop change or be a state change then the entire subtree will be get will be getting re-rendered that means if your sidebar is getting uh, re-rendered then the entire subtree which contains uh, filters or recommendations those are going also going, uh, going to be re-rendered 
Now you might be thinking that how to prevent this, how to, you know, my, the prop uh, for the on-mount prop is not changing and the on-mount uh, prop for recommendation is also not changing. So how should I uh, stop this re-rendering? Here comes the part where we have to use react memo that if you say filters memo and you say react memo and you pass filters here and you we use this uh, component the memoized component and we pass it here so what happens here is so the usual flow of react is that if the parent is getting re-rendered then the entire subtree will be re-rendered no matter props change or not so if you click on show filters filter is getting rendered if you click on show recommendations yeah so now it's a caching issue i'm the particular setup i'm using so please excuse me for that coming back to the topic if we click on filters our filters getting re-rendered uh, sorry rendered the first time and we are making the tracking call if we clicked on show recommendations our recommendations got uh, getting rendered and we are making the recommendations loaded call but our filters is not getting re-rendered if i click on hide filters then our recommendations is getting re-rendered because we are not memoizing the recommendations now but our filters is just rendering once so that's the difference here because usually the react like i mentioned the react normal flow is that if the parent is getting re-rendered then it will re-render the entire subtree but if you have used react memo in that only in that particular case react will break its normal flow it will check the props and see that if my props are changed or not it will make a shallow comparison if the props are not changed then react will stop the re-rendering there and will leave the subtree as it is so be mindful of that so this brings end to our video i hope you were able to learn something new today we talked about uh, like a particular scenario where use callback made sense we have to be mindful that uh, why we are using use callback and when to use it plus uh, you know uh, you have to identify the situation where actually wrapping the methods into use callbacks makes sense you can't just randomly wrap the functions into use callback and uh, uh, just believe that they'll work and also you have to be you know be mindful of things that why you are actually wrapping them that if you wrap the use callback to stop the re-rendering how your wrapped function is used in that component or downstream in the child components uh, so based on that you have to make a call that do we need to even wrap it or is it a more uh, hassle is it just creating more work for react along with that we saw we saw the scenario where react memo made sense that uh, a combination of use callback and memo helped us avoid excessive re-renders but that might not be true in all the scenarios so the aim of this video was to show you a real world scenario where the use usage of these functions made sense and to give you an idea where in your code you can you know explore and use this so as again uh, this this is it you have two links on the screen um, uh, please uh, use them to reach out to me or to practice on the devtools tech platform uh, till next time do like share and subscribe see you take care bye bye